Thank you. How's it going, guys and girls? Hope you guys are having a great week. So I'm back today with another video. And this one, I just want to continue on another series, which is basically where I just play some gameplay, random gameplay, and just talk about things in the gaming industry at the moment, share my opinions and things. So the gameplay in the background, which I'm sure you already know, is gameplay from Horizon Zero Dawn, which I have completed. It's a fantastic game. If you haven't seen it, haven't checked it out, please go and play this game. It is a must-buy on PS4. And I will be doing a review of it later. Absolutely. It is in the works at the moment as we speak. But let's get to the purpose of this video game, guys. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about collector's editions, special editions, legendary editions, deluxe editions, and so on. And I just want to talk about this in the gaming industry and how... I think collector's editions are getting to the point now where it, it is absolutely getting a bit ridiculous. And the reason that this has come up is I was researching some collector's editions today, just having a look around because I do like to buy the occasional collector's edition, maybe maybe once a year because that's all I can afford because I really like to collect statues in those collector's editions. I have a thing about video game statues. You have already seen it in my office. I've already started a small collection and I got a statue this year uh, which was Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn which is a beautiful statue and you know I do check them out every so often and I came across the Assassin's Creed Origins Collectors Editions and I had to talk about it. I just had to talk about it because when you look at what Ubisoft are doing, it is really ridiculous and it does open a can of worms and I wanted to sort of give my opinion on it, talk about it, uh, let you guys know about it if you're not aware of it and then generally just get your opinion on this and what you generally think of it. So with Assassin's Creed Origins, of course, you can just choose to buy the basic standard edition of the game which is the full game full release and on ubisoft's website that is priced at 45.99 in the uk and perhaps in america it's probably something like 60 dollars well apart from that there are multiple there are one two three four five different editions that you can buy they range from the deluxe edition which comes with a special uh, deluxe uh, downloadable uh, deluxe pack um, and right up to something called the dawn of creed edition legendary edition which which in itself is absolutely ridiculous. So let me go through each of these and just sort of break them down to you on what's included in each, how much it is, and then we'll talk about it. So with the deluxe edition, you get the digital deluxe pack. Now that includes the Desert Cobra pack, which comes with a special outfit and mount and gear set. And you also get three ability points right off the bat and you get an exclusive mission called Ambush at the Sea. And that's the deluxe edition. Now you can get the deluxe edition for $54.99. So it's an extra uh, £10 in the UK. Okay. Now that is the deluxe edition. If we then move on to look at the next one, the next edition is the gold edition. Now this includes the deluxe pack, like I've mentioned. But on top of this as well, you also gain access to the season pass, which will give you access to all major expansions and equipment sets sets in the game when they've become released now not too much i don't think has been announced about the season pass but you're pretty much signing up for that right from the beginning and that will cost you 69.99 in the uk then you have the option to get what's called the gods edition now this edition uh, includes the uh, season pass the deluxe pack and it also comes with another of a, a few extra things as well you get a special original art book you get the game soundtrack a physical copy of the world map and you also get a special uh, statue which is called Bayek on the uh, on Sekhmet goddess statue it's 26 centimeters in height and uh, you know it looks like a pretty good statue and if you want to get that that will cost you $84.99 okay now as collector's editions go that's reasonable at the moment uh, for what you would expect from a collector's edition we then go to the dawn of creed uh, collector's edition now that's a slightly upscaled uh, for you now it includes everything else uh, that we've mentioned but the difference with that is you also get Bayek's uh, amulet a special uh, necklace you get some art cards 
and a steel book and you actually get a different kind of statue which is a Bayek and Senu uh, figurine and that's 39 centimeters in height it's much bigger uh, obviously it's a better quality as well and you get that for uh, 119.99 pound it's 120 dollars 120 pound probably something like 150 dollars okay that's fine that's reasonable at the moment for collector's editions uh, but then we get to something which in my opinion is absolutely fucking ridiculous excuse my french but it's called the dawn of the creed legendary edition right now let me lay out exactly what is in this so in this you get a copy of the full game you get the deluxe pack the season pass a physical copy of the world map the official soundtrack an art box Bayek's Eagle Skull Amulet in resin, two art cards, steel book, four large lithographs, and a 73 uh, centimeter figurine of Bayek and Senu in resin. Okay, so this is like a very high level, huge statue, and you're not going to believe this, but if you want all that, if you really want all that, then you have to be willing to put down wait for it guys 699.99 that is 700 pound you have to be willing to put down that 700 pound to get that okay now if you're willing to spend that kind of money then good on you if you have a job that pays that kind of money amazing okay all all, all power to you but for the majority of gamers asking gamers to pay 699.99 simply for a better quality statue is absolutely ridiculous like i'm losing my voice i'm i'm in that much shock about this it's unbelievable uh, to ask gamers to pay this kind of price now what can i get for 700 dollars well let's see i can probably buy a, a new xbox one x no problem as well as a uh, ps4 or a ps4 pro right like i can probably buy all three consoles i can probably afford to buy a ps4 an xbox one and a nintendo switch for that price maybe slightly less but that that is what like that is more than the cost of a single console that is more than the cost of a really high-end pc and you expect gamers to pay that kind of money like that is unbelievable for me so i mean the first up until that one the collector's editions in my opinion they're okay i think there are too many of them and i, I think there is there isn't a necessity to have like one two three four five six options when buying this game are ubisoft that desperate for people to buy this game that they're like oh my god we have all these options guys like these are six different options that you can go down please please buy our game and all these added benefits and all access to all of this content and you know from the get-go and everything else so like it's crazy like that kind of money and if we look at the trend i mean when we had a look at like uh, the mass effect andromeda collector's editions when they came out they range from like 60 dollars up to 200 dollars, depending on which edition you bought and if you uh bought the paid the 200 dollar one i think that included a copy of the game and also it included um a remote control uh nomad uh, that you could drive around i think you could even buy the nomad separately without even having the game in there which is not a collector's edition if you're not buying the game it's not a collector's edition <laughs> at all um but you know I, I was just looking at this and i'm like this is freaking insane this is so crazy asking gamers to pay this money so what are my what's my opinion on it well personally I think for some people, they do really like buying collector's editions um, just because, well, there's the appeal of them. They're limited, right? So there's an, an unlimited number of them. They're really hard to get once they've come out. Like, for example, for me, I wish when the Witcher 3 collector's edition came out, I wished I'd bought that. I didn't. I chose to buy the Batman Arkham Knight Collector's Edition because I wanted the statue. And then when that came, I was so disappointed with the quality of that statue. And I really kicked myself and wished I bought the Witcher 3 Collector's Edition. And 
You can't get it now. It's really hard to get. I think it's they're selling it in one of our local gaming stores, and they're asking like a hundred and eighty nine pound for the for the collector's edition, which is crazy, crazy money. My main reason for buying collector's editions generally is is because I really like some of the added features. So I love things like collecting the soundtrack. I love the art book and I love to flick through and see all the different art styles and the progression of, of the game. I love collecting figures. You know, that really is something that I, I really enjoy doing. But for me, I mean, my limit in sort of spending uh, uh, on a collector's edition is about a hundred pound, 120 pound. And I can't afford to buy a collector's edition every time a game comes out that I really want to play, you know. So I my, I bought Horizon Zero Dawn's collector's edition this year and I was not disappointed with that. I was really happy with it. And, you know, I probably would like the Bayek figure because it is really cool, but I cannot financially justify spending this kind of money. I mean, I think up to about £120, if it's got a really good quality figure with it, then maybe it's it's reasonable to ask for that kind of money. But to ask gamers to spend £700 on a collector's edition, in my opinion, is completely unacceptable. It shows Ubisoft just to be greedy, um, money-grabbing. Um, it's it, it shows a lack of faith in the game, the fact that they're trying to get people to buy all these extra incentives for buying the game um, and you know EA probably gonna follow point with this you know you I can imagine about you know Star Wars Battlefront 2 having a massive collector's edition as well uh, Destiny 2 is probably also gonna have a huge collector's edition as well most likely so you know I think collector's editions need to be careful I think they need to get to the point I, I don't like having five or six or seven different versions of digital deluxe editions and collector's editions and legendary editions because it just becomes confusing. It becomes confusing for gamers in terms of what they're getting for their money, which edition to go for. And then sometimes you'll get collector's editions which will get bought out by, um, you know, scalpers. So like, for example, look at, look at Nintendo, look at all the Amiibos, look at the new Samus Returns collector's edition with the squishy uh, Metroid Amiibo. That's sold out within an hour of going on sale and you can't find pre-orders for it anywhere it's really difficult to find it and that's because of scalpers going in and buying you know multiple copies of the collector's edition and then selling it for for a uh, you know a, an increased price on uh, sites like ebay and you know so it just it just encourages greed i don't like it it's not a part of the gaming industry that i'm a particularly big fan of i i don't really like season passes as well i've i've said that before i don't like it i don't like paying for content before that content's even been like sort of sold or made i don't like I, I like spending money on, th on what I know when I know what I'm getting for my money. So even with the collector's editions, you don't really know what the quality of the statue is going to be until you actually, it physically arrives. And then I get situations like with Batman Arkham Knight where I've spent £100 on this collector's edition, the statue arrives and it's cheap and it's shoddy workmanship and it's really, really disappointing and a waste of my money. And I could have spent half of that money to buy another game. So, you know, that that's my opinion on the Assassin's Creed collector's editions i think there's too many of them you know and uh, i think the legendary edition is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous um it's just hilarious it's so laughable that ubisoft think this is this is okay but anyway let me know what you guys think what are your thoughts on collector's editions uh, do you like them do you tend to buy collector's editions if you can what do you look for in a good collector's edition when you're deciding to what to buy have you bought any collector's editions this year or last year and really like them let me know in the comment section below let me know what you think of what ubisoft have done here with their collector's edition i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the gameplay i hope you found the this uh, an interesting topic if you did of course please hit the like button as always to show your support take care guys and girls and as always Happy gaming.